ladies and gentlemen, it just seems like in this climate, there are so many things that just invade your privacy. And sometimes you may not even realize this is even happening. Many people don't know that if you have an iPhone, it has a built-in feature that keeps a history of places that you frequent. Um, so your iPhone tracks every location you frequent. Here's how to turn it off for good. So if you don't want your every move tracked on your phone, it can be disabled. It can be completely turned off. So let's get into this article that came out March 9th, 2019 in Science Alert. There's a little known feature built in to your iPhone that keeps a history of everywhere you've been and how many times you've been there. The significant locations list can be found in your settings, but it's rather hard to find whether purposeful or not. Well, you would think it wouldn't be hard to find, you know? I don't know. I don't like that. I, I think that's an invasion of your privacy. You know, if you want a device to keep track of your location, then you should be able to decide whether you want that or not. Apple tracks and stores where you've been and how often and when you visit. But it gets even more detailed than that. Your iPhone compiles locations specific to a single address and tracks when you leave there and even how long it took you to get there and by which mode of transportation. Wow. According to Apple, the list keep to learn places, the list is kept to learn places that are significant to you. And Apple isn't alone in keeping track of this amount of location data. Google does it too. Through the location history found in your Google account, this data is encrypted and stored only on your device and will not be shared without your consent. Apple said on its website, it is used to provide you with personalized service such as predictive traffic routing and to build better photo memories. But if you no longer want significant locations turned on, here's how to turn on, you know, turn it off and delete the history from your phone. So ladies and gentlemen, I did it. You know, some of you, it may not bother you at all, but I took out all of my history. I don't want the phone keeping track of that. Um, I, I would prefer if, if it's a decision I want to be tracked while I'm out, I want to make that decision on my own. I don't want Apple to make that decision for me. First, head to your settings app and locate the privacy tab. So it gives you all of the directions here to turn that off. And then you go to your location services. Underneath, you'll find a list of every app on your iPhone and the kind of access each one has to, you know, your location data, but you wanna skip that. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom to um, system services. There you'll find a full list of what built-in Apple services you have granted access to your location data. It may be more extensive than you knew. 
some of these options a location for daily use such as find my iPhone. Of course, you know, if it gets lost, you definitely want to have that on location sharing. But at the bottom of the list, there's a tab called significant locations, which require your password or fingerprint or face ID to access. And you see that right here at the bottom. You'll find a comprehensive a uh, history of where your iPhone has been. So it's going to list all of the locations that you've been. And depending on how much traveling you do, it may be a long list. But it's going to tell you where you've been, <laughs> how you got there. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think that's too much detail for my liking. So the list is going to be sorted by city and under each, you can find more specific details, addresses of places you've been, how many times you've been there, specific dates, times um, you were there, how much time you spent there. It's a wild amount of information. I don't know. Why does my phone need to keep track of all of that? Hey, if you're fine with it, then there's nothing for you to do. Before you turn off the feature altogether, don't forget to clear the history. All right, so you want to clear your history. And then after that, you want to shut off your significant locations. And then your phone is no longer tracking everywhere you go. So I will leave the link to this article in the description box and you can read over it. You know, it's really only significant to people that have an Apple iPhone. If you don't have that device, um, you don't have anything to worry about. You know, not unless you have Google installed on your phone, then, you know, you, you can turn off the location where Google can't track your every move. I don't have those instructions, ladies and gentlemen. You'll have to look that up. This article is about the iPhone. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.